Hello chess friends and welcome to out of chess channel and welcome to another great game that I prepared for you today play by the new Stockfish version by the new Stockfish 15 if you have followed of course my youtube chess channel uh, we have covered already one great game played by Stockfish 15 uh, if you haven't downloaded it already please uh, do so because uh, the new Stockfish 15 is uh, now the best engine that you can have for free you can analyze as I said also uh, many of your games but you have also uh, I think uh, the opportunity to maybe download some other PGNs and maybe analyze maybe top games played by top grandmasters or maybe by other top engines so the link to the download will be in the description below and if you want to see also some other games that stockfish 15 has played so far you can also download the pgn uh, on the official ccrl chess down website uh, the link will be also in the description below so uh, i've sorted out again a beautiful tactical game played by stockfish 15 against another top engine clover and this game is really incredible and this game i think uh, shows the real strength now of of the new stockfish 15 because here stockfish will destroy clover in only 29 moves in the night of sicilian so when you have followed maybe uh the stop engine games the games are many times prolonged i don't know many times we have seen even struggles uh, about above 100 moves or something but this game is really incredible the stockfish 15 is destroying uh the night of in such a such a beautiful way so as i said i'm not sure uh, where now the stockfish boundaries are because uh, here again we'll see that uh, the night of sicilian has really uh, some weaknesses has really some structural problems and uh, stockfish uses them immediately and destroys as i said the sharp opening in an early stage of the game so let's check out now this tactical beauty so here e4 was played by stockfish we have c5 by clover uh, we have knight to f3 and after move d6 c takes d4 knight to d4 uh, after knight to f6 we have knight to c3 protecting the e4 pawn and after move a6 we have now reached the knight of sicilian okay here uh, the prearranged line was to move bishop to g5 um, if you don't want to you uh, to have your messed up pawn structure here then you have to play e6 uh, as we mentioned many times if you play something like a6 uh, white is going to um, take out your knight for sure and will mess up the pawn structure then you have many many light score problems here in the continuation of the game so this is something that you should not do so that's why e6 is still the main line so we have f4 we have knight from b to d7 uh, protecting also the e5 because the threat was of course e5 uh, d takes e5 uh, then f takes e5 and then the knight would be pinned so here in the continuation we have queen to f3 by stockfish um trying of course to prepare queen side casting so queen to c7 queen side casting was played by stockfish immediately now h6 and okay uh, you could also try here to move b5 we have analyzed also recently one game uh, then the game leads into a very very sharp line after move e5 uh, bishop to b7 and then also knight to e6 we have seen recently is one of the most tactical games that you can play then after something like f takes e6 queen to h3 it could happen and then the pawn on e6 is hanging so this is playable for both sides so as i said if you want to know more, uh, know more about uh, these types of structures please also check out our previous analyzed game so but in this game after move uh, queen side casting h6 was played by clover and stockfish uh tries of course to stay with the bishop here on the board it's not giving up immediately the bishop for a knight plays first bishop to h4 so we have now bishop to e7 and now bishop to e2 if you play bishop to d3 then i think the bishop could be always a little bit attacked by the knight on c5 so that's why stockfish choice was now bishop to e2 still the uh, bishop has of course uh, good activities on both sides it controls of course very important diagonals and now uh, stockfish has finished the development has now the beautiful rook connection which is also a very very important stage of the opening so here after move bishop to e2 we have kingside casting and now the fun starts you can guess what will happen in a couple more moves now stockfish attacks the position immediately with the move g4 of course they have to counterplay now from black perspective we have here b5 by clover and now very very nice move g5 and um, my engine at home uh, first suggested this move as as an inaccuracy uh, but then if you let the engine really work uh, then it shows again that it's perfectly fine so as i said you have to uh, really uh, stay a little bit focused here and have you uh, be a little bit patient because the engine immediately doesn't show that it should be a good move as i said after move um e g5 uh, we have now of course an immediate attack against the knight after the h6 g5 the problem about this line is that you cannot take with the pawn uh, that's the problem because then you get knight to e5 and uh, black gets out of this tactical mess will play eventually knight to d7 and then uh, this g5 is a little bit weak is also a little bit isolated so that's why bishop to g5 here played by stockfish as i said um what uh, 
on stock which has here is still is this control of the e5 score so no knight to e5 are possible so here the continuation we can also notice that the g file is now a huge tactical problem for black black uh is getting challenged now by the rook attack on the g file uh here clover played now the move b4 uh tried to attack immediately the knight even if you try something like bishop to b7 uh in order maybe to attack the knight and then um, uh, to take out the pawn on e4 then the game becomes really wild because actually white doesn't have to even protect the pawn on e4 i've analyzed this line because i played many times this kind of a, a structure with the black pieces i wanted to really see different outcomes uh, in particular sidelines of, of this line so as i said i remove bishop to b7 white has to just play here rook to g1 and the game is basically over here for black believe me or not even if you try some ideas of b4 here then you get bishop to h6 and this is now a huge huge tactical problem you have to play something like i don't know knight to e8 but still a bishop to g7 is still an opportunity you can take rook takes g7 a king to g7 look at this the queen will come into the game the rook is coming into the game even if you try to cover then uh, queen to h4 is immediately checkmate so queen to g7 also is here an opportunity so you have many many opportunities to deliver so as i said after move bishop to g5 uh, there's simply no time here to play bishop to b7 um, the attack i think by black is a little bit splashed so that's why here the clover engine try to get some kind of a tempo with the move b4 but it doesn't matter stock which has still the opportunity to hide with the knight here on b1 now we have bishop to b7 which comes of course with the direct threat uh, against the pawn on e4 but now uh stock which can reroute the knight again to d2 where it's protecting again the e4 pawn so as i said stockfish stays uh, with this very active uh, setup here in the continuation we have rook from f to c8 here clover maybe is trying also to create some kind of an escape path uh, for the king because the queen could maybe sneak in somehow on h3 maybe to deliver some dangerous checks then you want to also have a little bit uh, space here with also some breathing spaces then to escape with the king so after move rook from f to c8 stockfish continues with the normal plan rook to g1 attacking now indirectly the king on the g file so here bishop to f8 so clover is trying now to activate more pieces in the defense and now queen to h3 so this is now a serious threat because what we want to do is maybe to play queen to h4 rook to g3 and then uh, rook to h3 very very dangerous i'm not seeing good ways how to defend this position so in the continuation we have now e5 and this is now really really well because what you could do is also bishop to e4 but then the game is getting really really wild uh, then you have this one you have knight to e4 and the problem is now after knight to e4 again you have this tactic bishop to h6 for instance even if you try g6 uh, then you have this beautiful tactical shot you have rook takes g6 this is really incredible how stockfish is preparing this beautiful attacks after f takes g6 now gets queen to e6 and you see now because the knight took the pawn now we have this beautiful tactical shot queen king to h7 first we take of course uh, here the bishop on f8 after knight to f8 now we can take out the knight and the problem is now you cannot even attack the queen the problem is queen to d5 is going to happen and the problem is also you cannot trade off the queens now black would love of course to trade off the queens and simplify the game but this is not possible because of uh, queen to f7 and it would be game over so as i said this is really really brilliant stuff how stockfish is preparing these tactics so now also as we said knight to e6 uh, and also rook to g6 are really really serious threats so in the continuation we have now e5 by the clover engine but now stockfish first takes um, f takes e5 d takes e5 and now a beautiful move bishop to c4 sacrificing uh, the knight but the problem is now again some light school weaknesses here g6 is weak h7 is weak f7 is weak so this is now beautiful attacking formation played by the fish so after move e takes d4 was played now rook from uh, d to f1 no so you see now we have a really nice attacking formation here for white's perspective the rooks are on a beautiful on beautiful files the bishop very active bishop on c4 very active the queen very active so i'm not seeing really good ways how to defend this position anymore so here in the continuation uh, b3 was played even if you try something like queen to d6 maybe um here in order to include more defenders into the game then you risk this idea rook to g4 this is now the main uh, attacking motive in um, uh, stockfish formation because if you take knight takes g4 then you get bishop to f7 is a checkmate so now of course you see rook to h4 is a serious serious threat for instance if you try even rook to c4 uh maybe to 
uh, undermine the pressure a little bit here uh, on f7 then rook to h4 and you cannot protect it anymore you can maybe uh, create a g6 some breathing spaces rook to h8 and then rook to uh, queen to h6 is of course a beautiful checkmate so this is not working even this idea as we said the rook to c4 is not working because now uh, white has extra time to include the rook into the battery and the game would be over so a really really immortal immortal attack here by the fish so in the continuation uh, here b3 was played by um by clover we have uh, a takes b3 queen to d6 again a similar motif but now again after bishop to f6 uh, knight to f6 again rook to g4 uh, here played by stockfish now again we have a similar tactic rook to c4 but now again uh, rook to h4 and basically it's game over here knight to h7 we have rook to h7 rook takes c2 king to c2 and after f6 in this position uh, clover resigns so as i said this is a much much better position for white uh, white is up the exchange we have also some dangerous threats here we can also open the e file uh pardon me the f file if something gets cleared here so as i said knight to c4 is also an opportunity so many many tactical opportunities for stalkers 15 so in this position as we said uh clover resigned we're now in move 27 which is really incredible when you think about it hard these are top engines and they're getting destroyed by stalker 15 in 27 moves so okay i hope that you enjoyed this new stockfish game we'll try to cover more of this uh, games but we'll cover also uh some current tournaments that are going on like the computer bullet chess championship will be uh we'll also uh, see some other competitions that are very very important but uh, so far i think we have seen really beautiful games played by stockfish 15 and as i said i'm not sure uh, where are the limits of this new engines because this is really beautiful how stockfish is playing how stockfish finds new ideas in particular sidelines of openings and similar stuff so so you see how a beautiful opening like the Knight of can be destroyed in an early stage of the game. So, okay, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this uh, game. I really enjoyed it a lot. If you want to see more brutal attacks like this, check out my comment to chat games played by computer series with some more games played by Stockfish, Alpha Zero, Lila Zero, and many, many more. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon with some more videos and chess is the best, of course.